Hey champs, what's happening? This is another episode of Check Along with Chai. We've been talking to a lot of locals lately inside the old city wall. We're at the East Gate of Chiang Mai right now. One of the biggest, uh, most touristic spots normally. Uh, but there is actually no Falang at the moment right here. Maybe they're still in the office, maybe they're still working. I'm not too sure, but we're gonna go into this old city to check out how are the foreigners doing? Why oh why Chiang Mai? That's what it's called. Why are the people here? Are they stuck? Are they loving it? Are they having a good time? I've been walking now for five minutes. Uh, no for long yet, so far. Oh, there's one guy now, he's driving on the motorbike. He's about to head off. I just gonna make a run for it, because there's almost no one here. Hey champ. How's it going? Good. Can I ask you a few questions? You're like the only foreigner here at the moment in town, so I'm getting sure. all excited. Sure. I'm making a few episodes of OY OY Chiang Mai. So people are still in Chiang Mai right now. What's your name? Let me David. David, my name is Chai. Nice to meet you, David. Chai, nice to meet you. Where are you? You're from the States? Yeah. Whereabouts in the States? I'm kind of Colorado, moved around a lot, somewhere in there. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what are you doing here? You, you... I'm a teacher of different sorts. So oh, really? Not only English? English, but in different kind of flavors. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so I've been here for 20 years. 20 years already? Yeah. Do you, are you planning to go home sometimes? Or? I usually go home every year for a visit, but since COVID I haven't. Yeah, so you, is it a quarantine and all that? Or yeah, is it's just a hassle and, and I, I, I feel like uh, the journey itself might be risky. Yeah. So I'd have to kind of quarantine myself before I saw my family. Yeah. And then I have to come back here and quarantine again. So And I only have a month break. Yeah, so it doesn't yeah, yeah, really yeah. work and it's... Are you back to work again? Because some, some of the schools were closed for... They are closed, but it's online. Oh, yeah. yeah. How's that going for you? Yeah. It, it, yeah. <laughs> it's not as fun, eh? It's and not as fun. It's not as good, but yeah. it is what you got. So you're planning to stay here forever? We'll see. Staying for a while. Yeah, I like it here. Yeah, I can imagine, man. I just moved here basically only four weeks ago. Okay. And I just love it. Like, uh, okay, yeah. cool. Only until the end of December. Uh -huh. And then uh, I'm going to have to fly back to the Netherlands and... Maybe this vlogging thing's gonna pick up and oh, okay. I don't know, keep going, okay, go, go cool, to Indonesia okay. afterwards and, cool, cool. and everything, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. All right. Um, so the, I, I teach at a temple for, for Buddhist monks. They've, they've oh. got a, yeah, they've got a university there. So yeah. the monks can get a bachelor degree in English. Oh, and all right. so, uh, yeah. I've been Inside of the temple? In the temple grounds, but it's, oh, a, yeah. it's a regular university. You, you can get a master's degree. Which, you which a temple is it, if I may ask? It's called Swandok Temple. Swandok. Yeah. Mm. It's not in the old city. It's outside the old city, but ah. it's a major temple. Here. Ah. It's between the old city and the mountain. Amazing, man. Thanks for your time, Dave. Yeah, my yeah, pleasure. I appreciate my that. Pleasure, Do you have any message to share to the world? or? Uh, take care, everyone. And Chiang Mai's got a lot of, uh, a lot of wisdom to share with the world, I think. People yeah. understand that uh, being peaceful and enjoying the moments of life are important. That's one of the reasons I stay here. Man, that I want to finish that like that, Dave. Thank you so you much. Got it, Thanks. Good luck. Yeah, yeah cheers, yeah, mate. Yeah. All right, you too. Yeah. Good on him. Dave from, from America, like from the States. First guy, I had to run for him because, yeah, there's no one, there's almost no one here. So I'm like running with my camera and all like. Hey, champ. How are you, sir? Very well. What's your name? David. David. Oh, we've just been talking to a Dave, so that's funny. Where are you from, David? England. England. Are you are you uh, are you stuck here or are you you want to be here? I exist here. You exist here. You lived here for a while then. Uh, since November two thousand and seven. Are you working at all or no? I'm waiting to die. I'm old. Really? You're waiting to die, sir. Wow. I'm old. Yeah, but you you still look like you have a lot of life in you. What? And now I have germs. All these COVID viruses. Uh, are you scared of COVID? Uh, like yes. to get it? No, uh, well, very apprehensive because where I come from, um, if I get hospitalized, it costs me nothing. I had a vaccination. Oh, yeah? Do you have to pay for it? No. Oh. Sir, I, I really, it breaks my heart, really, that you say I'm he you're here waiting to die. Well, I'm, I'm old. What, what else? But the other problem is I can't get out. You can't, you can't get out? Well, no, where, where you can't get, where can you go? It's very difficult to travel now. Yeah, to get out, get out of the country, you mean? Yeah. And not only, well, there, there are two problems. Um, maybe I can go somewhere, but then the problem is, can I get back here? You rather would have been going back to the UK for a bit? Well, not really, because everyone says here, because this is paradise. You know, everyone says you're having uh, a better time of COVID here than yeah. in Europe or 
awesome. I came from London actually before I came here. I can tell you that London was not a good place to be in lockdown. David, thank you so much for your time. Are you, you don't want to say any wise words? It's going to rain. It's going to rain. <laughs> okay, thank you, David. Maybe we need to find a shelter. Why, oh, why Chiang Mai? That's the question. If we find someone else, because, uh, yeah, I do see some locals sitting around having a drink or having some food, but uh, not many foreigners. Not many foreigners at all in the in the city center. There are quite a few actually, but not so much in the old city center. Champs, I'm not gonna say anything about this, but uh, I think we all know why these, uh, these people are here, eh? Uh, I think this is because people are actually in jail. Is that right? Is that is that why they are standing here? Because there's people in jail? Yes. Because yes. they said something about yeah, something? Yeah, they, they criticized the uh, monarchy. And Do you know anyone that's in jail? I know one of them. Yeah? yeah. Okay, good luck. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about this subject because it's quite sensitive. But yeah, we all know what's going on in Thailand, I believe. If you don't know and you are curious, you can find me on Instagram. Shoot me a private message. I'm happy to explain what these guys were doing. I'm not allowed to, uh, to talk about this on uh, YouTube right now while I'm here in Thailand. Why, oh why Chiang Mai? Oh no, I think it's actually started to rain just a little bit, but normally if the, there's one drop, there'll be many following. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> gonna have to run for it because it's gonna pour down in a minute. It stopped raining already after five minutes. So we're all good. We're just gonna carry on walking. It's six o'clock. I wanna talk to another maybe three or four other foreigners to get a good idea what the uh, people of Chiang Mai, the foreigners of Chiang Mai doing here. Why oh why Chiang Mai? I've got an apartment here in Chiang Mai for the next four months, but what I'm planning to do, I think beginning of next week, I'm gonna head out to uh, Pai, Chiang Rai, do a little bit of a road trip uh, in the north. Maybe I just do day trips to Pai, come back. Uh, then do like a long weekend Chiang Rai come back not too sure yet how we're gonna do it but we're gonna explore the north of Thailand uh, after another few episodes of being in Chiang Mai if you want to give me an idea of uh, the north what I should see in, th in the north of Thailand please let me know in the comment section always looking for new content damn I'm like I can whisper basically and <laughs> I normally I'm like pretty loud and I just figured I am uh, pretty loud right now as well and there's, there's almost no one here well there's a there's a car coming and <laughs> that's that's about it uh, but yeah why or why Chiang Mai champs uh, where are you <laughs> I'm uh, making a video why or why Chiang Mai oh, so okay. I've been talking to a lot of locals yeah. uh, in a few different episodes and I thought it would be a good idea also to talk to the, the foreign people what's your name Mick, Mick. Yeah. where are you from Mick Australia. Australia. My name is Chai. I'm from the Netherlands. Yeah. So Mick, are you are you stuck here or do you want to be here? Uh, a combination of both. I want to go home. Right. However, it's basically too hard at the moment. Yeah. Um, we have a situation in Australia where we've got a, uh, a limit on the number of Australians allowed into their country. Oh really? There's oh, a cap yes. on that? Oh yeah. So not all the Australians can come in, come fly no. back? No. What? In the Netherlands, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can fly back, like no yeah, matter what. That's right. If I want to go back to Melbourne at the moment, yeah. it can cost me anywhere up to $25,000 for an airfare. I get my second jab of AstraZeneca in a fortnight. Okay. Hopefully the Australian government will recognise what we're getting. Yeah. Here. I think AstraZeneca is on the list, no? Uh, Ast uh, Should be. AstraZeneca made in Australia is on the list. Sometimes... Uh, the conservative government in my country yeah. becomes a little bit precious. Yeah, yeah. And the last thing it's going to do is look after its people. Yeah, I hear your frustration, sir, and I can imagine like it would be. Uh, I would be a bit angry, to be honest, if I was uh, if it was my government. But if, if I didn't know so much about it, yeah. I would be angry. Yeah, yeah. However, I'm a realist. Yeah. I know how they work. I know that it doesn't matter how angry I get. 
It yeah. make absolutely no difference. There are worse places in the world to be stranded. I have been going back probably every three to four months. Oh really? So, last, so often? the last eight years I've been here. Yeah, right. But I haven't been out of the country now for 21 months. Yeah. And um, we have an expression called cabin fever. Well, I've got country, yeah? I've got country fever. Country fever, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. So you spend your time sometimes in Central Festival and... Like, I, mean, I that, try and avoid those sort of places. Really? Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, uh, that kind of calms me down a little bit. Like, reminds me of the Western world a little bit, that's why. Yeah, I don't need to be reminded of that. No? Um, I tend to have a number of friends who I spend quite a bit of time with. Yeah. Um, I have a beautiful uh, friend who works here. Yeah. Um, all in all, I can cope with being here. Yeah. But being of the age I'm at, it would be nice to get back to uh, home to yeah. see my local doctor. Yeah, <laughs> right. See, I heard, I was just talking to someone else from the UK and he was like, if I'm in the UK, it's free healthcare and here you have to pull your credit card. Well, it's worse than that for me. Oh. Back in Australia, it is free. Yeah. Um, but I'm a diabetic. Oh, wow. And it's costing me 5,000 baht a month. Yeah, 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 yeah. Insulin. In Australia, I get the same amount of insulin. Yeah. For about oh, ten baht. If I ask you why or why Chiang Mai, then your answer will be the best motorbike riding roads in the world. That's it, rock and roll. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully Melbourne uh, or your country is going to open up again soon. Well, Melbourne is building its own quarantine centre. Oh yeah. It should be finished by the end of the year. Yeah. And it will it'll take a thousand people. So is I'm hoping that I can get home to that. Can you apply for this? Can you apply for? Uh, like, did you? Are you on the list already? Uh, yeah, I'm on the list. Yeah, how, how did you get there? Like, you no, just do it through the Australian Embassy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good to know. All right, well, I'll leave you guys to okay, it. Mate. Thank you so much. I will, I will leave you out of it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hey, champ. How's it going? Can I? Yeah, very good. How are you? Good, good. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, let's go. Man. Nice one, nice one. Well, first of all, where are you from? What's your name? I'm from Germany. Germany. What's My name is Dennis. Dennis. Yes, man. You're the first younger person I would say we're talking to on the street right now. We're yeah. making an episode about Chiang Mai. Why Chiang Mai? Yeah. So, what are you doing in Chiang Mai, man? Like, what, what's happening? What am I doing? I was used to stay on the islands, like Kolanda, small yeah. island, relaxed, and yeah. quiet. But uh, yeah, exactly one year ago in August last year, it got too quiet. Yeah. It got too quiet, right? <laughs> a lot of people left the island. Uh, yeah. The options were very limited. And this is why I decided to come up to Chiang Mai because you still have a lot of options. So are, you, are you an expert? Are you working here? Like I'm working here from the laptop. Oh, yeah. How long can you stay in Chiang Mai for? Uh, since last year, October. So, uh, so now it's 10 months and a bit. Are you uh, extending every time? or? No, it's a one year uh, ah, visa, right? Really? Yeah. Why are you staying here? Why are you not doing your work in Germany? Oh, because um, I do see a lot of upsides here yeah. uh, in other parts of other countries which I would love to work from and yeah. did before. It is um, very restricted everything, private life, choice of restaurants, choice of rooms. Yeah. And that also comes with a higher price for living. In Germany? In, uh, in, in, in Asian countries. In Asian oh, countries. Yeah. I haven't been to Germany for a couple of years. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that because you don't like Germany or because you love it's so Asia? It's cold there. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I love Asia, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. That's clear. I tried it out in Australia for a while, but also wasn't for me. So I came back here. Covid stuff happened. How old are you now? Like? Uh, I'm 28. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. And eh? here, compared to Bangkok or the South, a lot of stuff is still available here. Restrictions are fair. Yeah. Not, not too crazy, not uh, too less. So that we are still protected, kind of. And yeah, you got options and also still the so much desired cheap living cost. Yeah, you still have that actually here. I'm paying seriously and I'm staying in a decent place. I'm paying 55 pounds. What's like 70 euros? What's like 100 US dollars per month? Like per month? Yes, man. 55 Yeah, and I've got, a, I've got a swimming pool. Oh, uh, I need to pay electricity. That's oh, expensive. Okay. Yeah, fair enough, fair so enough. it's yeah. maybe if I leave the aircon on all the time, it's double the price. Yeah, but yeah, still, yeah. like, come on. Yeah. Dennis, yeah, you want to you wanna go back to Germany at some stage? Or? No, 
You're not, so you're not <laughs> stuck. So Only why are why Chiang Mai? Options, availability. Op yeah. Uh, so you've you got prices, options here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also. yeah. That's a mix. Mate, That's thanks a for mix. your time, brother. And we Understood. stay in touch, yeah? Yeah, cool, cool. All right. Nice to meet you, Dennis. Take it easy, brother. All right, take it easy. <laughs> Dennis, our German friend. It was good to talk to a younger person as well. Because, uh, yeah, um, I think the average age... I think the average age that I've seen normally walking on the streets is about, uh, I have to be careful here, maybe 60, 65 maybe? So I'm talking about average age, yeah? Some, uh, some of the guys are like 50 or late 40s and uh, some of the guys are like late 70s. But uh, yeah, it was good. There's also quite a few young expats here. He's not the only one. I spent some time in a, a bar a few nights ago and uh, there's many young expats actually like i was surprised how many i'm not too sure how long i can keep on filming it's getting really dark at the moment how are you how are you you okay <laughs> good good thanks why oh why chiang mai well it is peaceful it's quiet it's one of the nicest places in thailand right now so people like to hang around here. There's people stuck here, people want to go home. We had a good mixture, the teacher Dave, the American dude, David from the UK who was, uh, yeah, on the end of his life. And uh, yeah, he's kind of not having a great time, but uh, he's surviving. From Australia, who wants to uh, go back once in a while. And our German friend Dennis, he, uh, yeah, he was uh, just loving life. And it uh, doesn't matter where he lives, he says, uh, he just uh, lived in Australia, here in Asia, and he's just having a good time as an expert right now here in Thailand. And he is not stuck at all, he's just having a good time and yeah, loving a good life. From an empty Tapagate Square, I would like to say bye for now and stay champ!